man. I hate high school. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 teen drama pilots. Fame is the most important thing in our culture now, and if there's one thing I've learned, it's that no one's just gonna hand it to you. When are you gonna let your parents know that you listen to the evil rock music? You're an American teenager, for God's sake. Come on. It's a whole new school year, Seth. It's also the same kids, Dad. For this list, we'll be looking at the introductory episode that sold us on our favorite adolescent drama series. Ever wonder why they're called pilot episodes? Well, it means to guide, and producers use them in hopes of landing major television networks for their series to take off. This video will expose plot twists in these pilots, so here's your spoiler warning. Which of these pilots passed with flying colors and landed your attention? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Pilot, Freaks and Geeks. I always wanted to know what it'd be like to fight a girl. I'm a girl. Wanna see what it'd be like to fight me? Created by Paul Feig as a spec script, this witty pilot is packed with A-list celebrities before their prime. When producer Judd Apatow was presented with the script, he states that little did he know this series would become, quote, the best thing he's ever worked on. The pilot was sold to DreamWorks Television, which then sold to NBC. Set in the 80s, the episode centers around siblings Lindsay and Sam Weir's social struggles in high school. High school is for learning, but it's also where you should be learning how to socialize. If a younger James Franco, Seth Rogen, Jason Siegel, and Linda Cardellini aren't reason enough to dive into this series, the plot will surely have you hooked. You think you can hang with these guys? You think that's gonna make you cool? Whether you prefer Lindsay's freaks or Sam's geeks, you will not be freaked out by this pilot. Number 9. Pilot, Never Have I Ever This coming-of-age dramedy immediately starts off with Devi Vishwakumar praying to the Hindu gods. Hey gods, it's Devi Vishwakumar. Your favorite Hindu girl in the San Fernando Valley. What's a poppin'? Narrated by professional tennis player John McEnroe, this peculiar choice will eventually make sense later in the series. Now you may be asking yourself, why is sports icon John McEnroe narrating this tale? Damn it! It'll make sense later, I promise. The pilot explains how her parents moved to America from India to provide a better life for their family. It also covers Maitreyi Ramakrishnan's character's trying times over the past year and how she's optimistic about her upcoming sophomore year. Not to mention she's determined to find a boyfriend and doesn't take the news lightly when others beat her to the goal. I didn't want to upset you. Me? Upset? No. You should be upset for your weird taste in men. Me? I'm cool. In the final scene, she propositions her crush and receives an unexpected outcome. Okay. What? What? That actually worked? And never have we ever wanted more from a pilot episode. Number 8, Chapter 1, On My Block. Don't worry, girl! I got your back! From right here. Released on Netflix in 2018, this teen comedy drama focuses on the coming-of-age stories of Monse Finney, Ruby Martinez Jr., Cesar Diaz, and Jamal Turner. Set in the Los Angeles neighborhood, Free Ridge, we're presented with young adults at a house party. As Daye Jack's finish line plays in the background, the four main characters observe as they fantasize about high school. Summer passes and the friends notice a few changes that occurred over the break. Several events transpire, including Ruby's room-sharing dilemma, Caesar's controversial familial ties, Jamal's athletic secrets, and Monse's recent developments. It's all good. You just look a little different. What is it? My boobs. Nah. Get your braces off. Lastly, a potential rumor comes to light, and we can't wait to see what happens next on their block. Well, all we were trying to do was be good friends. And now we're not friends. Yo, bitches be bonkers. Number seven, premiere, The O.C. Welcome to the dark side. Raking in more than 7 million viewers, the pilot for one of the best TV teen series began with Ryan and his brother Trey stealing a car. Both are caught and serve time. While in juvie, Ryan confides in his public defender, Sandy Cohen. Ryan, Sandy Cohen. The court's appointed me a public defender. You could do worse. He's released under his mother's care, however, that doesn't go well, and Ryan is left to call the one person he can trust. Sandy takes the juvenile delinquent home to Newport Beach, but his wife Kirsten is worried about his influence on their son Seth. 
This is what happens when you let someone like this into our house, when you let our son hang out with criminals. Although the two boys do get up to some mischief, Ryan is eventually welcomed into the Cohen home. We root for Ryan's new beginning. And after this episode, we were singing California, Here We Come. Welcome to the OC, bitch. Number six, Pilot, Gilmore Girls. You know what's really special about our relationship? The total understanding about the need for one's privacy. I mean, you really understand boundaries. Originally aired on the WB in 2000, this mother-daughter comedy drama is so lighthearted and fun to watch. Set in Stars Hollow, Connecticut, the pilot begins with Lorelai Gilmore walking into Luke's diner while the law's There She Goes plays in the background. Her daughter Rory is quick to join her, and the banter between the two is adorable. Since Lorelai had Rory when she was a teenager, she holds great pride in the sacrifices she made to raise her as a single mother. I stopped being a child the minute the strip turned pink, okay? I had to figure out how to live. If you're looking for a show that makes you feel good and appreciate the importance of family, then Gilmore Girls first episode Episode will win you over for sure. Rory, please put down that cup of coffee. You do not want to grow up to be like your mom. Sorry. Too late. <laughs> Number five, Pilot, The Vampire Diaries. I get it. Blood makes you squeamish. <laughs> Something like that. Based on L.J. Smith's novel series of the same name, this CW supernatural drama starts off strong. After Elena Gilbert's parents mysteriously die in a car accident, both her and her brother Jeremy do their best to overcome their recent traumas. I will no longer be the sad little girl who lost her parents. I will start fresh. Be someone new. It's the only way I'll make it through. Elena's best friend, Bonnie Bennett, tries her best to cheer her up. However, she only begins to perk up when she accidentally runs into captivating new student Stefan Salvatore. Um, is this the men's room? Yes. Um, I, I was just, um, I, I was just, it's a long story. Not only does Stefan suck in Elena's attention, but he also attracts Caroline Forbes and us as well. Several other spooky situations occur near Mystic Falls, Virginia, but you'll have to continue watching to find out what else is written in the Vampire Diaries. All you can do is be ready for the good. So when it comes, you invite it in. Because you need it. Number four, Pilot, Glee. <laughs> Credited as an aptly named series, Entertainment Weekly stated that this series title, quote, both embodies and inspires exactly that quality. Not only did Ryan Murphy's musical comedy have one pilot, but the series followed up with an extended director's cut version as well. When the head of the McKinley High Glee Club is fired, Spanish teacher Will Schuster attempts to rehabilitate the club in a new direction. I'd like to take over Glee Club. You want to captain the Titanic too? However, his personal life presents him with a difficult choice, and he must choose whether to stay or leave. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. With the harmonious talents of Leah Michelle and Corey Monteith, this engaging pilot will give you chills. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control. Even if you're not a fan of musicals, don't stop believing just yet, because this episode will leave you gleefully satisfied. Number three, welcome to the Hellmouth, The Harvest, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. In every generation, there is a chosen one. She alone will stand against the vampires, the demons, and the forces of darkness. She is the Slayer. This pilot for the late 90s WB smash is a spooky one. When Buffy Summers burns her bridges at a previous high school, Sarah Michelle Gellar's character must start over in Sunnydale, California. You burned down the gym. I did, I really did, but, but you're not seeing the big picture here. I mean, that gym was full of vampires. She wants to keep a low profile. However, this is difficult when she has a reputation as a vampire slayer. We wanted to welcome you, make you feel at home, unless you have a scary home. And to return this. She meets several new faces and a peculiar guardian angel who warns her that the harvest is coming. Let's just say I'm a friend. Yeah, well, maybe I don't want a friend. I didn't say I was yours. Worried about the safety of the Sunnydale civilians, Buffy eventually overcomes the stigma she associates with her vigilante status. With the help of her new friends, she learns to embrace her supernatural senses. And although the premiere is supersized, it will suck you in. 
Number two, Pilot, Euphoria. Coming a long way from her Disney Channel days, Zendaya takes on the role of controversial teenager Rue Bennett in this HBO teen drama. It's just the way your brain was hardwired. Plenty of great, intelligent, funny, interesting, and creative people have struggled with the same things you struggle with. The pilot touches on a younger Rue's mental health journey, which inevitably leads to her dependency on medication. At some point, you make a choice about who you are and what you want. This visually pleasing pilot caught the attention of both Canadian rapper Drake and music producer Future The Prince, and they both signed on as executive producers. If you're seeking a darker, more raw perspective on adolescence, then Euphoria is for you. It does cover uncomfortable topics, however, Zendaya's performance and the plot are euphorically captivating. And then over time, that's all I wanted. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Mortal Cup, Shadowhunters. Clary Fairchild learns about her secret supernatural lineage. All the legends are true. We're Shadowhunters. Mother and Child Reunion, Degrassi The Next Generation. This two-part pilot features original cast and a mother's worst nightmare. Hello, police? My daughter's in danger. I don't know who she's with. All I know is that it's someone she met on the internet. Please hurry. Bienvenidos, Elite. Unknown events within prestigious posse lead to Marina's mysterious murder. Pilot, One Tree Hill. Half brothers constantly compete to see who's the strongest Scott. So, what'd you bet? I win, Nathan stays on the team. Why? Because it's the last thing he wants. Pilot, Gossip Girl. Who is she? You'll have to watch to find out. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Don't believe me? See for yourselves. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. Pilot, Friday Night Lights. This new coach, uh, Coach Taylor, right? Eric Taylor, that's right. Well, he, he's got himself a lot of pressure right now, and there's he lots does. of expectations on him. Despite having to compete with other sports dramas like One Tree Hill, the first episode of Friday Night Lights had us falling in love with Coach Eric Taylor, his family, and the Panthers football team. The real kicker of the introductory episode is when Taylor's star protege, Jason Street, is injured during a game. Fortunately, second-string quarterback Matt Saracen focuses and turns the game around. You look and see where the defense is, and you see where our guys are. You with me? Yes, sir. Then you throw the ball to our guys. While centering around the importance of football and family in Dillon, Texas, every time we re-watch the pilot, it brings back all the feels. Please don't drop the ball if you haven't seen this nostalgic teen drama yet. We highly recommend you join in on the team spirit and give it a go. We must carry this in our hearts that what we have is special. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.